Okay, well, what's up next? Well, let's talk about our next podcast. Uh, each of the books that we're reading are going to help dictate what realm we're going to head into next. So like Katie said, what we're reading now has to lead us into our next episode. And it was funny because the first thing that came to mind was... A Brave New World. And why was that? Do you remember? Because Larry, as he was um, about to, you know, walking into the Lincoln Tunnel to try and leave New York, um, with all the dead bodies. Was it in him the cars. going in or was it him coming out? Or he might have been he was I think in, it was I think him it, coming he was out. coming out. So he's in there and he 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 talks about having to live in this brave new world. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I remember that book and loving that. And I had read it. Yeah. Before, so, so, so we're looking for stuff like that. So we so that was like the first one, but then it's too there's too many um There was too many references to the Too this many next references book. of the next book. Yeah. And so we decided to go with Richard Adams classic book. Watership Down. And why are we going with that in this one? I mean, there's so many different references that King puts into the book. I mean, um, we mentioned Campion in the beginning. Campion. Right? So that I haven't, you've read Watership Down. I haven't. I have, so we're going to. Yeah. I've so read it read three it, times. You've read it thrice. I mean, so Campion is a character in Watership Down. Yeah. He's one of the rabbits. Yeah. Like a main character. So yeah. that's the first kind of hint for us to move towards that book. You know, Lloyd in the jail cell talking about the rabbit in the cage is another rabbit reference. Yeah. One of the, one of the, my favorite quotes from the book was King was talking about Tom as he was leaving Las Vegas. And he quotes, how does a rabbit feel when the shadow of a hawk falls on him like a dark crucifix? Wow. I just love that. So he has the rabbits and the crows and stuff like, he has a lot of different and wolves and stuff that, and animal, you know, references in this. But with the, uh, there's a lot of rabbit references. Going Tharn. Yeah. Right. Um, yep. It's one of the words from Watership Down that Stu talks about. Which is a word that Richard Adams made up, made up. for the vocabulary of the rabbits. Yes. Which and is like uh, picture picture a deer on the road, freezing on the road, looking at the oncoming car headlights. That deer yeah. is gone darn. And yes, that comes from a fictional language that Richard Adams created. And the name of that language is Lapine. Didn't the Stu, Stu was remembering Watership Down too, I think. In some yes, because that was one of the only books that he's read. That That's he, right. Like, or his favorite book that he read. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We'll talk more about this fictional language next in our next episode yeah. with Watership Down. I'm excited to get into that book. So we're telling you that now because if you guys want to read it, you know, get it on Audible. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the audio book, find a good reader or narrator and uh, grab a jump. cup of PG tips. Yeah. And we're going to have a new uh, TLC for the next a one. A Watership Down themed cocktail yeah, to enjoy. That's right. While reading or uh, listening to the podcast. Exactly. Yeah. So check out this week's TLC. Uh, that'll be up on on YouTube, on Reddit twice. Yep, and you'll see us. We'll make a video of it and show you how we put it together. Um, and yeah, we'll be jumping into Watership Down in our next episode. 